Well, the 49ers play at Atlanta tomorrow, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of the South before I hop on, what, the 45-minute flight from here. Franklin, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville to the ATL to see Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the first time. But before then, we have some other 49ers news to talk about, and this is bad news for the 49ers and for Javon Kinlaw. The 49ers have placed the defensive tackle Kinlaw on injured reserve. That means at least four games from this point he has to miss. You can't do IR retroactively. So even though Kinlaw has missed the Rams game and the Carolina game, it's at least four more now, at least another month of football missed for Javon Kinlaw. And, and you know, you just got to put it in perspective here. 49ers drafted the player. They, they knew that there were some knee issues, right? But they got a whole lot worse in two, 2020 when he suffered a fairly severe knee injury against the Dallas Cowboys. Came back in 2021, and it was found after just a few games in 2021 that Kinlaw's ACL needed repair. So he went under the knife again. That ended his 2021 season. He came back here in 2022. There was hope that he was fully healthy, but they knew that this would have to be managed, and there was fluid buildup in the knee a couple weeks ago that started keeping Kinlaw out of games. So the 49ers hope that by shutting Kinlaw down, they can get rid of the fluid buildup and that he can return later in this season at full health because we know how much potential this guy has. He, I mean, he dwarfs offensive linemen. He makes them look small. He's got so much strength. He still plays with good leverage even with that strength. I think Kinlaw started to show some pass rushing moves this year. First snap of the season at Chicago. He got into the backfield. I mean, the potential is there, but we will see if he can overcome this, I mean, the knee issue that happened in 2020 seems to have had some devastating effects. So we'll see if Javon Kinlaw can overcome them. There are going to be so many debates about injury history that the 49ers ignore this. Should they have done that? I mean, it's that's water under the bridge, right? Kinlaw is on this football team and they have to do their best with their medical staff, with whoever's working on Kinlaw's knee, Kinlaw himself with his rehab. They have to do their best to make the most out of the situation. And I'll tell you what, if this guy can get anywhere close to health and be available, uh, he's been a big reason why the 49ers started this season as the number one run defense in the NFL. Now, without Javon Kinlaw, they're going to have to stay resourceful inside. They need Eric Armstead back as, as quickly as possible. He's not going to play this week in Atlanta. Maybe you see Eric Armstead the week after that against the Kansas City Chiefs. But Armstead has been big with his versatility to fill in on the inside. Kevin Givens has been really important for the 49ers as far as a good interior player. Akeem Spence, I thought, did a good job splitting some double teams last week, and they just signed T.Y. McGill, who started the, this preseason for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, it actually had some sacks against the 49ers, three and a half sacks this preseason. So, I mean, you dig into the defensive tackle depth if you're the 49ers. That even includes a guy like Kerry Hyder, who could play anywhere on the defensive line. But you drafted Kinlaw that high to replace DeForest Buckner for a reason, because it's a premium position in this defensive scheme. You got to have that tackle gobbling guys up, operating in space, you know, being a specimen really for this defense because you're playing the wide nine and there's more room to play there along the interior and unfortunately for the 49ers Kinlaw's been unhealthy more often than he's been healthy with that knee for whatever reason so there's going to be a lot of you know pointing fingers and all this and all that I'm just here to talk about solutions and the 49ers really do need Javon Kinlaw to get back in that lineup if they're going to survive the marathon of this season as a truly elite defense now if that's not possible well, they're going to have to scrounge some pieces together. And that's why you play complementary football, because attrition does happen. Defenses do get weaker due to injuries. And unfortunately, in this situation, Javon Kinlaw is the one injury that we're talking about. Anyway, no Javon Kinlaw for at least the next four weeks. We'll keep ourselves apprised of this situation. I'm not here to talk about bust or no bust or whatever. I'm just here to track this as it moves forward. And I know this is a good football player when he's healthy. But so far, he hasn't been healthy nearly enough.